Things are just so unpredictable right now. Guys, I'm gonna park because you know what? I don't even wanna keep driving to talk to you guys about this. Welcome to another Drives with Denise. After this new moon that just passed in Leo, which was like a few days ago, a lot of things have shifted for me. I feel like the change that I've felt within is starting to manifest in like my 3D world now. After this new moon, there's also so many like retrogrades going on that are shifting like the energy here on Earth. And what it's doing for our personal life is as simple as removing the veil of illusion. So anything that is not real we're gonna see right through it and it's gonna be very hard for us to ignore it or just like overlook it how we have in the past i think it's our job right now to have an increase in our discernment and what scenarios deserve our energy and what scenarios don't and it's up to us to put up those boundaries with certain circumstances, certain people and things in our life right now is a critical moment because we are getting close to the Lion's Gate, which is 808. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know I love this day, my future wedding day, if God allows. And it's just a very special day. 88, the infinity sign, eternal balance. That's what it symbolizes, eternal peace, unconditional love. Every day is special, guys. Every day there's a portal of energy opened, at least in my opinion, in terms of being positive and setting the intention and doing your rituals to bring good manifestations into your life. I think you could do that any day and it's gonna work. But during certain moments, the energy is heightened in a certain way. Like if you feel the sun right now, it's very important what you're giving your energy to right now and what intention you're setting before every and any decision. So I've been very cautious to act solely out of my heart and trying to be the best version of myself that I could be regardless of how others are acting around me and regardless of what's going on around me. So I feel like an analogy that has been helping me a lot is... The concept of looking at life like a river and us being a rock in that river and staying super grounded in who we are in like our internal world so that the water around us, which is life, can just flow around us, you know, and not move us or take us off our balance because life is going to happen and we should be like a rock solid in who we are and I feel like this month of August is going to test how solid you are in your true self if that's what you've been working towards and becoming like that best version of yourself. It's definitely going to be a challenging time and I don't know if you guys are also feeling in certain scenarios that you've been put in that challenge of like, I don't know, just holding grace and kindness towards people. Because remember one of the laws of the universe, yes, it's the law of attraction, but the hidden truth behind the law of attraction is that what attracts your manifestation is your state of being. So that means the energy that I'm vibrating on. You attract what you are. You don't attract what you want. So I think this month, it's a pivotal time to hone in. I don't even know if that's the right way to say that word. But like just focus on like what your intentions are. What do you want to manifest and staying in that energy regardless. Regardless of what's going on around you because you will be tested in a way it's a test right now in terms of how sturdy can you stay how rock solid you know i personally feel like i've been faced with a lot of circumstances that are out of my control and i think it's on purpose because that's where you surrender the most and that's where you can just give it to god i just hand it over to jesus i think right now we're being put in certain circumstances and situations to see how we respond to it are we going to respond like our old self or are we going to respond like our new self i do feel like if you have been working on yourself and you've been working on these big manifestations and you feel like nothing's happening or things feel stagnant please hold on to your faith we're exactly where we need to be right now no one said it was going to be easy just that it was going to be worth it 
And I believe that it is going to be worth it because I think that the best is yet to come. If you believe in synchronizations and numerology, I think that's the physical proof to not lose your faith and to remind yourself that you are on a magical floating rock in the middle of outer space and there's beauty in there. Something else that I try to remind myself also in those moments of like, okay, I know this is a test or like turmoil, you know, where you are expanding. I try to remind myself that the cycle of life, if you pay attention to nature and all the things in nature, there's like a death and a rebirth and a blooming and a death and a rebirth and a blooming. And you know what I'm saying? Like even the seasons, every flower, everything dies, guys, and comes back to life. A butterfly has to turn into goo before it comes out of the cocoon and even when it's coming out of the cocoon like that's like a turmoil or you know tough process like none of this is going to be easy so i look at nature a lot for motivation and just kind of guidance because i feel like it is all connected and we're all connected and personally through my own life experiences i can relate to like a death and a rebirth like the death of the ego <laughs> and changing it to like a positive ego which is possible which i didn't even know like before i used to be super against the thought of ego because i thought it only meant this like selfish way of being fear-based mentality but no there's like a positive there's a balance we need the ego it protects us in a certain way it's just up to us to heal our trauma that makes us be selfish turn a little bit more towards our inner world so that we could be selfless and of service to others rather than service to self so hold your faith i think go with the flow stay solid in who you are and remind yourself that the best is yet to come because the end isn't anywhere near trust me at least in my opinion i don't think so thank you so much for tuning in this is this week's episode of drives with denise i am gonna try to actually film more vlogs so I can bring you guys a part of my day so stay tuned for that don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel I post new videos every week I'm your girl Denise Rodri and I'll see you here next time Mua, los quiero bye